Write a system of linear inequalities for the graph below. So here I have a system of linear inequalities and we are going to write a, an equation in slope intercept form y equals mx plus b. Here are the steps. So the very first thing is that I will only do one line at a time. Una línea a la vez. A la vez. So I'm going to go ahead and start with one. Voy a comenzar con una. It doesn't matter which one first. No importa cuál primera. So I'm going to go ahead and do the red first. Voy a hacer la roja primera. So this will be my line one. And I'll call it red. And this will be my line two. Mi línea dos. And this will be my green verde. Okay, so let's start with the line one. All right, so line one. Okay, and that's red. So let me put it here red so I remember. All right, so the very first thing I need to do is pick two ordered pairs, two ordered pairs. So on this line, I'm gonna pick two points in a corner, dos puntos en una esquina. So a good one, this is a good one right here. Do you see how it's in a corner? Está en una esquina right here. This is x is 1, y negative 1. So I have x is 1, y negative 1, and I need one more, una más. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick this one. This is 2, x2, two, y negative 4. 2, negative 4. All right. Next, I need to find m. I need to find the slope. Necesito encontrar el slope. And to do that, the formula is m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So here I'm going to go ahead and do x1, y1, x2, y2. So equals y2 is negative 4, copy minus. Y1 is, again, negative 1, so two minuses. The first minus is for the formula, and then the second minus is for this one right here. Put your line divide. X2 is 2, copy minus. X1 is 1. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in the calculator negative 4 minus minus 1. Okay, and let me say negative 4 minus minus 1. Let's put that in there. Negative 4 minus minus 1. And that is going to be negative 3. Put your line divide. 2 minus 1 is 1. And then put in your calculator negative 3 divided by 1 is negative 3. So this is my m, my slope. Okay, next I need to find the b. I need to find the y-intercept. Okay, so the y-intercept is where this line touches the y. Donde este, esta línea toca el y. Where does it touch the y? It touches right here on 2. So here, b equals 2. That one's 2. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and write our equation. Vamos a escribir nuestra ecuación. Our equation is going to be in slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and do this then. So I'm going to put y. Now, I cannot use equal. We're not doing equal. We're going to do an inequality. Okay, so let's look at where the color is. ¿Dónde está el color? So remember, our focus is red right now. Nuestro enfocación es la línea roja. So here is the red. Where is the color? ¿Dónde está el color? Up, arriba, or down? Abajo. The red color. El color rojo. Up or down? It's up. Está arriba. So if the color is up, I'm going to use greater than. Si el color está arriba, voy a usar greater, mayor que. So I will put greater than. Okay, now let's see. What kind of line is this? ¿Cuál, cuál tipo de línea es esta? This is solid or dashed? This is dashed. Dashed means no line. So no line down here. No hay línea abajo aquí. Now, next I need to do the M. Necesito poner el M. My M is negative 3. Copy X, copy plus, and my B is 2. 
Okay, so this right here is my line one, the red, okay? And I'm gonna color it, voy a poner color. So I remember, para recordar, cuál es esta. So I'm gonna put the color. So I remember, this is one of my answers. Este es una de mis, unas de mis respuestas. I still have line two, todavía tengo que hacer línea dos, okay? So I'm gonna do it on a different paper. Voy a hacer una diferente papel for line two. Okay. So let me put this here like this. All right, so line two. Line two is the green. Okay. So first I need to go ahead and pick two points, dos puntos in a corner, in una esquina on the green here. So let's see, a good point. Here's a good one. It's, do you see how it's in a corner? That is X5, Y negative one. And then another good one, I'm gonna use the Y intercept because why not? That's in a corner. So that is negative three is Y because it's on the line Y. It's touching the line, tocando la línea, so I'll put zero here, okay? So next I need to find M, the slope. So M, M equals Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. This will be X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Y2, negative three, copy minus Y1, negative one, divide X2, zero, minus X1 is five equal. Let's put this part in the calculator. Negative three minus minus one. Negative three minus minus one. And I get negative two. Copy the divide. Zero minus five. Let's put it in the calculator. Negative five. And let's put all of this in the calculator. Negative two divided by negative five. Positive two fifths. This is my M for line two. Okay, next I need to find B, the Y intercept, right? The Y intercept B. So where does this green line touch the Y? Donde toca? Right here, right here. This is my B, it's negative three. Okay, now we're gonna do our equation in slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. And we change m and b, and of course we're gonna change that equal sign too. So, we're gonna do y. Now, let's see, where is the color? Donde está el color? Let's see, so the green, el verde, the color is up or down? The color is down, el color está para abajo. So down is less than, bajo is less than, so I'm gonna put less. And then is this solid or dashed? Solid or dashed, this is solid, so yes line. So I will put a line down here. Next I will put the M, M is two fifths. Copy the X, copy the plus. The B is negative three. Now, if I have plus minus, si tengo más y menos, what is that? Is that plus or minus? That is minus. So my answer is gonna be y is less than or equal two fifths x, only minus, minus three. This is my line two. Okay, and I'm gonna color that two. Okay. So I have two answers. Tengo dos respuestas. All right. So I'm going to do, to write it in a system, I'm going to do this like a little brace here. And I'm going to put my first line, mi primera línea, which is this one. So let me go ahead and put it here. That is y is greater than negative 3x plus 2. And then this one. Y is less than or equal to 2 fifths X minus 3. Now, it doesn't matter which order you put them. No importa cual orden. You can put this one first. Puede poner esta primera. It, it really doesn't matter. No importa. So whatever shows up on the test, 
It doesn't matter which one's the order. No importa cuál es el orden. So my final, final answer is going to be this one or this one. But they're both good. Okay. 